Benny's Spooky Edit War, one of the most anticipated Photoshop contests on the internet. Since I was a Photoshop artist, not like I'm no more, but I really don't do much of Photoshop anymore. I'm going to do the Benny Spooky Edit War, but with VFX. And today I have with me this my intern Shawal, and he's the one filming, so there's no more intro. I just have to do it again. All we just need is we're going to be using After Effects and Element 3D. And one fun fact was that I said one stupid thing in one of my After Effects courses that i said element 3d is very difficult to use i take back my words element 3d is one of the most easy plugins that you can ever use to incorporate 3d inside your footage and for this we have a green screen here which we just had to hide like because we needed some kind of natural lighting but since i don't have any lights i just asked myself where would i even get any natural lighting where we don't have hard surfaces on the face of your individual the answer was a forest right so we just came into this forest we just had to come to this forest and since it's nobody's property like like this kind of this ambience and all those things i just really really love it so without any further ado let's just jump right into shooting and start the compositing and everything and after effects and element 3d well the shots aren't really anything complicated again i'd advise that you use the tripod for this since we don't have tripod like my tripod only supports my phone i think i said it one of my videos they're just going to take iphone stabilization so i'm going to let shawa film me but he should be a little bit stiff even if there are some movements inside it wouldn't really be detected basically what shots i'm just going to use is a close-up shot of me and some kind of wide shot of me the rest are just going to be b-rolls which i'm going to be using in element 3d that's in post-production there's just nothing i have to say again all we just need to do is jump right in front of our green screen and then i'm already in america i'm in maldives and i'm in seychelles island so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to recreate it with the song itself i just searched on youtube and i found it here can the camera see it so i'm going to play it and just follow it if there are any necessary things we have to do again then i'll just do it like the hand coming out i think we'll be using a leaf for that with this leaf or we can just find a pile of sand and put our hands out of it which is very simple to do so without any further ado let's play let's play this and start Well, I can say the whole process took almost 12 hours to make. That's if I just estimate all the time I used to make it. But I decided to stop recording at, at a point because whatever I was just doing was repetition. But this tutorial isn't kind of like a tutorial. It's like a quick tutorial with a commentary on it. In case you do not understand anything and you'd like me to explain deeper, just leave a comment in the comment section and I'd be glad to do it for you. Well, without any further ado then, let's just jump right into Cinema 4D and start modeling our lands. Well, the first thing I just had to do was to go into Cinema 4D, get some landscapes and duplicate them, rotate them in order to create some kind of a relief structure. And then I just had some cubes, then just made some kind of crosses. And I even had to stimulate some of them to fall down so they look like the crosses have broken and fallen down. Right after that, I was done with the modeling and everything. I didn't texture it. All I just had to do was export it as a wavefront OBJ or any file format which elements 3d could pick well if you aren't a 3d artist or you know nothing about 3d i have got you covered in the link in the description is a google drive file where i have the obj file and all the textures that i use to make my model and everything in element 3d so you can just check the first or second link in the description to know more well jumping back right into after effects you're going to create a new composition and create a new solid and move on to the effects panel and look for the element 3d plugin or just go right into the effects go to video copilot and click on element and apply it to your new solid well then in the element 3d effect you click on scene setup and it opens a new dialog box for you then you can now import your obj file and then go back into your composition there we are going to create a new camera and either create our animation there or you get back into the element 3d plugin do your own adjustments and tweaks before coming to make the animation for yourself well for me i just decided to make a simple animation of a push in that's by just creating position keyframes and just a slight rotation keyframe so it pushes in and goes up a little bit 
After a whole lot of experimenting, I finally arrived at my values and I then decided to go back into the Element 3D plugin to do some more tweaks. So with the Element 3D plugin comes some starter packs which include an alarm clock, a light pool, some rocks and so many things which are just free models. So I decided to create new groups and add all those free models into my scene just to give it some kind of a little bit more symmetry look or some kind of spooky look. Well, I even had to turn the light poles in such a way that it looked as if they've been destroyed or they've been worn out. So they've been kind of like falling down, but they don't fall down like they're just standing and falling. I even had to add some rocks, like some rocks just to make it look more spooky. Then a lot more, I just have to duplicate my landscape because it kind of looked too flat in the area. So many things I had to do, which took me a lot of time. So just in case you are at home and you have more time, you can basically experiment with so many things that you want and i wouldn't really lie to you guys this was my first time of ever using the element 3d plugin without watching any tutorial element 3d is very 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 easy to use just head on to the second or third link in the description that's video copilot's website and you can buy it for i don't know how much i bought it for again well what is even more interesting is that they have materials in their library which are also free which you can just use for your projects which are even high quality but I decided to go with my own materials. I just had a JPEG image from the internet. Then I used materialize to get my bump maps, my diffuse maps, my specular maps and everything. And then I just added it right onto my scene and it looked perfect. I even had to add some fog, add some contrast, brightness, so many other things just to tie my scene up to something more spooky. Well, it turns out in the intro, the green screen footage you saw wasn't the first one I shot. I shot one inside my ugly room which didn't really work out so I just had to kick that one off and jump right into the forest before I had something better to work with. And Google was one of my saviors again, I just had to jump right into Google, get some night sky pictures, get some moon pictures, get some three brushes and so many things. I just had to go into Photoshop, paint some three brushes and make it look like a forest, brought everything aside, Adobe After Effects, made them 3D, pushed them back in the Z space, added some glows, reduced the opacity, some contrast, brightness, so many things I can't talk about right now. Just in case you want to know how I did everything in depth, just leave a comment in the comment section and I'll be glad to attend to you. Even to make my scene look more cinematic and kind of spooky, I had to go and get some mountains, get some northern lights itself and even add all of them into the scene but I just had to fade them so they wouldn't really be visible and distract my scene that much. What would be a spooky scene without some smoke? Then I just had to jump right into YouTube and get some copyright free smoke assets and just come and bump them right into my scene and make it look more smoky spooky spooky creepy creepy well a lot more had to be done to the scene just to make it look more cinematic like adding bats adding some photo filters adding a lot of contrast doing some more adjustments and even a haunted house i just had to play 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 for almost up to five hours before i could get something fitting and at long last i finally went to the forest and shot my video so it was now time to bring my green screen footage into my 3d scene so basically that was the simplest thing i ever did inside after effects or that was the simplest thing i did inside this tutorial here all i just did was i brought my green screen footage into my composition then i just had to mask out the parts where the green screen was not there then i just had to key it do some small adjustments with the green screen and bring it into my main composition then i just had to add some brightness contrast photo filters just to make it match my scene and make it 3d push it back in z space make sure your 3d layer is on top of it or you can mask out to give the illusion that he's standing behind some kind of landscapes or some crosses it depends on your creative taste so this was kind of like the easiest part i'm not going to talk in depth again just in case you want to see a tutorial I'll leave it in the description leave it in the comment section sorry i'll be glad to attend to you well, for the other shots, all I just did was delete the previous camera or I just duplicated my composition. Then I just had to create a new camera there, create a new animation, bring that footage right into that composition there. Do the same thing like key in the green screen, doing the brightness and contrast and everything, pushing it back in Z space. And with the eyes too, I made a tutorial about the Sharin gun. It was the same method I used for the eyes and everything. And at long last, I was finally done with all the 
fucking compositing it was now time to jump right into premiere pro and now start cutting 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 all my scenes putting everything in order and just finishing everything up with an overall color grid as i already said that was the part i didn't record you guys didn't need to see that in case you want to learn premiere pro i did some tutorials when i was a beginner but you guys can check them out they are very very comprehensive you can learn from them and at the end of it all we're able to create something like this i just hope benny does not put a copyright on his song because i stole some of his visuals and some of his songs and his whole song so let's just go watch it and experience some magic from farid Last week we received a... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, we seem to be experiencing some technical difficulties. Please stand by. Yes. Yes. and i hope i didn't really mess this one up um, i don't know when i'm going to get a copyright claim for using benny's song i just hope he sees i just hope he sees this and he kind of likes it or i just hope someone sees this and also likes it so if this video helped you you can leave it a comment or you can subscribe if you're just new here we talk all about filmmaking visual effects premiere pro after effects so much more you can check out andrew kramer's element 3d link in the description after effects 101 is still running you can check it in the description again if you haven't watched my short death battle i think link in the description again you can check it out in case you use my tutorial to create something great you can just tag me on instagram when you post it at lilpap studios or facebook at lilpap studios or whatsapp link in the description again and just in case you want to see me fire my intern or you just want like he shouldn't come again Leave it in the comment section and I'll do it because what he just does is film. What does he even do? Ah, okay. So till next week, get some creative ideas and see my mom. Keep it real.